Hello everyone, this is XM Physics. So what I have here is a 2 volt battery. It's connected across a slide wire. I'm going to use this setup to measure the EMF of this battery. Now notice that this end of the battery is connected to the left end of the slide wire and the other end of the battery is connected to this galvanometer and a jockey. So what I'm going to do is to slide this jockey along the slide wire. Now notice that if the jockey is tapped too far to the left, the galvanometer uh, shows a deflection one way, but if it's tapped too far on the right, the galvanometer shows a deflection the other way. So somewhere along the slide wire, there's a now deflection point where the galvanometer shows no deflection. For this particular setup, the balance points turns out to be at a 43 cm mark of this 50 cm long slide ruler. Using the potential divider principle, um, this works out to be about 1.7 volts, which is about right for a new 1.5 volt battery. Okay, now that you know how the potential meter is supposed to work, let me explain to you um, why it works. So the top half of the circuit is commonly called the driver circuit and the bottom half of the circuit is called the secondary circuit. The key to understanding this circuit is to always ask ourselves what is the potential difference between A and X and between C and D before the two circuits are connected. Now suppose we are going to tap the jockey too far left such that VAX is smaller than VCD. So what happens when we do make the tap? Now something must happen because if nothing changes then VAX is going to be smaller than VCD which is not possible because they are now connected together. So what is going to happen is that E2 is going to push a current into the slide wire so that uh, with a larger current uh, VAX can increase until it matches VCD. So the current from the secondary circuit to the driver circuit must come back, must return uh, here. This current is detected by the galvanometer, that's why it shows a deflection to the left. Now suppose we are going to uh, tap our jockey too far to the right such that VAX is larger than VCD before the tap is made. So now when we do make the tap, what's going to happen? So this time around, E2 is going to take in a current. It's, it's trying to absorb some of the current from I1 into the secondary circuit so as to reduce the current flowing through AX, so as to reduce VAX such that uh, eventually it's small enough and matches VCD. So a current flows from the driver circuit into the secondary circuit here and it must return to the driver circuit here. This current is detected by the galvanometer, that's why it shows a deflection to the right. So what's going to happen if we, uh, if we are going to tap the jockey at a position X such that before the tap is made, VAX is already equals to VCD. So we make the tap and nothing happens, right? because VAX and VCD are already uh, matching without E2 having to do anything. In fact, if E2 tries to push a current or take a bit of the current from the driver circuit, then that would change the current through uh, the slide wire and that will, make, uh, that will change VAX and VAX will no longer be matching uh, VCD. So no current goes between the driver and the secondary circuit the galvanometer has no current passing through it and therefore shows a now deflection. Now since there's no currents going between the driver and the secondary circuit, we might as well pretend that they are not connected at all. 
And when we do that, uh, the analysis of these double loop circuits become very simple. For the driver circuit, we know that VAX is a fraction of E1. So by the potential divider principle, VAX is LAX, which is the balance length, divided by LAB, which is the total length of the slide wire, times E1. For the secondary circuit, VCD is of course equals to E2. But we know that this is the now deflection point, so we know that VAX does match VCD. So VAX is equals to VCD. So E2 can be calculated as follows. So this is the most basic potential meter wire circuit. I'll be explaining the more complicated variants in the next video. See you there. Ta-ta!